Thanks for tuning in to Mystery Curtain, where every gadget has a story waiting to be told. Join me as we explore the latest innovation, test its limits, and decide if it. When choosing an entry-level robot vacuum and mop, many first time. Buyers often struggle between models that seem similar on paper, but turn out quite different in everyday use. The Roborock Q7TF and the Roborock Q10PF are two clear examples of this. Both belong to the budget segment with a price under $200. And the gap between them is only about $28. At first glance, this difference may not sound significant, yet in reality, the Q10PF delivers a noticeably more convenient and relaxing cleaning experience, easily worth more than the small added cost. In terms of design, the Q7TF is more compact, measuring 32.5 by 32.5 by 9.9 .9 centimeters, which makes it easier to slide under furniture such as sofas or chairs. While the Q10PF is larger at 35.3, by 35.3 by 9.9 .9 centimeters and can sometimes get stuck in tight spaces. Both share the familiar round body, with a litter sensor on top and two control buttons for power and home. But the placement of the dustbin and water tank differs. On the Q7TF it is positioned at the back, while the Q10PF adopts a layout seen in higher-end models. By placing the bin beneath the top lid, which feels slightly more refined. Looking at the front, the Q10PF carries a bigger sensor cluster. Due to its reactive tech obstacle avoidance system, something missing on the Q7TF. Flip the two robots over and the differences continue although they both use three wheels. A main brush, a side brush and a semi-circular mop cloth. The Q10PF is equipped with wider wheels and a larger main brush. Measuring 16.5 cm compared to 14.5 cm on the Q7TF, which allows it to cover more surface in less time and maintain smoother movement on different floor types. Performance-wise, both robots deliver an impressive suction power of 10,000 pascals, which in practice is more than enough to handle dust, crumbs and even medium-sized debris like beans or snack pieces. On equal test areas around 39 square meters, both achieved thorough cleaning, but thanks to its larger brush. The Q10PF finished slightly faster. Noise levels are almost identical, with the Q10PF being just a little quieter. Though neither is silent enough for use during naps or late at night. For mopping, both rely on a dampened cloth pad that drags along the floor, picking up fine dust and light stains. The limitation here is that the cloth gets dirty quickly, so in larger spaces. You must pause to wash and dry it before continuing. Where the Q10PF clearly gains an edge is the presence of a dedicated vacuum then mop mode, which first vacuums the floor before starting the mop. This small addition helps keep the cloth clean longer and reduces smearing. While the Q7TF lacks this feature and requires manual switching after vacuuming, if you want the same effect, the standout feature of the Q10PF is its obstacle avoidance. With reactive tech, the robot can recognize and maneuver around cables, toys or stray fabrics left on the floor. During use, it consistently steered away from hazards without incident. By contrast, the Q7TF simply bumped into objects, sometimes climbing onto them and getting stuck which meant you had to clear the floor before each cleaning run. The difference here cannot be overstated with the Q10PF. You can let the robot run more freely, while the Q7TF requires more preparation. Both robots surprised with their ability to climb thresholds and even tackle double steps, though the Q10PF handled this more smoothly thanks to its larger wheels. Its 500 milliliter dustbin also holds more than the Q7TF's 400 milliliters, meaning fewer trips to the trash. The only shared inconvenience is the mop cloth, which must be washed and dried manually after each session to avoid odors. Unlike higher-end models with automatic washing docks, after several days of testing, the conclusion is clear. The Roborock Q7TF is a competent and compact entry level. 
Robot vacuum. Ideal for small homes with lots of low furniture. However, for only $28 more, the Roborock Q10PF offers faster cleaning, quieter operation, smarter mopping, more effective obstacle avoidance and less frequent bin emptying. These small improvements add up to a much smoother daily experience, saving time and frustration in the long run. For anyone looking for their first robot vacuum, the Q10PF simply makes life easier, and that convenience feels worth far more than its modest extra cost.